What is up Shane Squad? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. It's been about two weeks since I posted my last video, which if you have not seen that is where I did a little update of me starting my transition of becoming who I am. I am transgender, so if you have not seen any of that, I would go watch it so that way you can understand a lot more. I decided to actually start a video today. And there's a whole reason why I haven't been posting. It's because I got the COVID. Well, I no longer have the COVID. I was sick with COVID and I don't even know how I got it. Jen actually got ended up getting it too. We had it all quarantine into the house for 14 days and I was able to get out and go anywhere around on the 6th of this month. But I wanted to make sure I was actually fully over the sickness before I go and hang out with anyone, just to be on the safe side. Did a bunch of updates on Facebook, my symptoms, and what was going on. Let me go on Facebook. Also, I have all new social medias. If you guys have not followed me on any of my social medias, they're all down below. My Facebook, my Instagram, everything. Go follow me. Okay, I have to go scroll down to my Facebook posts. Because I tried to do like updates on Facebook. I was going to do a video of it, but I just didn't have the energy to do anything. So, this is when I know that I had the virus. I started out as having a cold and I was just, you know, sneezing, stuffy nose, all of that. So I thought it was just a regular cold. So I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, okay, I just have a little cold. So I'm coughing, sneezing. Well, then... Jen started getting the sick too. Like she started getting a cold and all of a sudden I started losing my taste. Things wasn't tasting correctly. Like there was a hint of tasteness, but then I was like, wait, something's going on. So I told Jen that I'm at, I think I'm losing my taste in the food because it doesn't taste right. She ended up tasting her food and she was doing the same thing. Well, the next day we actually ended up losing our full taste. So Jen actually wanted to go get tested for COVID. We went to, to the doctor, she got tested. I did not get tested. Because obviously if she has COVID, then more likely I have COVID because we're having all the same symptoms. She ended up coming back positive. So we had to stay quarantined in the house for 14 days. Fine, it was still coming out as like a cold and everything. Jen was like really bad. Like all of the symptoms were just hitting her all at once. I'm going to read the updates I did on Facebook to give you guys a little bit of idea of what was going on with COVID. This is the first status, February 25th. This is actually new that I had COVID and I was going to tell everybody. I was like, so I hate to tell everyone, but I have COVID. I thought I was just getting a cold, but I recently have lost my taste and smell and I have to stay quarantined until the 6th. I hate staying in the house as it is. I wore a mask everywhere I went and only went out as needed. So cleaning everything and wearing a mask does not work, which it really does not because anybody just wearing a mask could still get germs and all of that because you're touching things constantly. I have no idea how I came in contact with it, but it's honestly not as bad people as claim it is, which it really wasn't. It was just like I was had the flu. Well, first it started out as I had a cold. So at that point, it wasn't really that bad. So I was like, okay, I can maybe deal with this, but I did lose my taste and I lost my smell. And I actually just gained my smell back yesterday. I can actually smell everything. I can smell fresh air, I can smell scents and everything, but I was like so afraid that I was gonna lose my smell forever. Yesterday was marks the day that I was actually able to smell. That was February 25th. February 26th, I did a small update on COVID. I have not been able to taste or smell for three days now. Today will be my fourth day, and I do notice I'm starting to taste just a tad bit, but only seasonings and orange flavored drinks. To explain a lot more, we was sick before Jen even got the COVID test. So we were sick maybe like a week before we went and got tested because we just thought it was the cold. Until the day that we started losing our taste. That's when we were like, oh, well, one of us needs to go get tested to see if, it's, if it is COVID. That explains like how I started gaining my taste and stuff back. At that point, I was only able to taste seasonings and anything that was orange flavored. I was able to taste bacon and eggs if it had tons of pepper or salt on it. Other than that, nothing else I could taste. I can't smell nothing at all yet. So at this point, I was not able to smell anything and it was awful. Like I can go without smelling anything because there are certain smells that you never want to smell ever again. 
but not tasting anything, I hated it. There was like literally no point of eating because you couldn't taste anything. Like it was like taking the best pizza in the world and taking a bite of it and it just tastes like nothing. Like you don't taste the sauce, you don't taste olives, you don't taste banana peppers, like you don't taste none of that. So it was just like, what's the point of eating? So I didn't really eat a lot. February 27th, update on COVID. I could taste a very little, still can't smell, but now I'm getting very massive headaches. The headaches was awful. I thought it was a caffeine headache, so I drank some caffeine. It was not caffeine. I even took four ibuprofens and it still would not go away. And it didn't feel like a migraine. It felt like it was just like somebody was just sitting there just squeezing your head constantly. And it took forever to go away. And the only way it would go away is I took cold and flu medicine, which helps with headaches. I started taking that and it eased the headache. And then I had to start taking deep breaths every once in a while. Like I would be sitting and I would have to go because I felt like I wasn't breathing. Like I was breathing, but it felt like to me that I wasn't breathing. So I would have to take a deep breath to take a deep breath. <laughs> it's just like a normal cold. Just, I think the worst of it is the headaches, which out of all the symptoms I was getting so far, the headaches was the worst. The headaches, it was so bad. Okay, February 28th, update on COVID. Last night I had to be my worst on it, day on it. I could taste a lot more, but still only certain things. I can't smell at all unless it has a very, very strong odor. I could smell like fish, like dead fish. I could smell that if it was a strong odor, but other than that, I couldn't smell anything. I couldn't smell candles, I couldn't smell incense, I couldn't smell anything. I couldn't even smell if I had needed deodorant on my body. Like I couldn't smell anything, so I don't know if I smelled bad or if I smelled good. I had to constantly be taking a shower, so that way I know that I'm clean. I started having to take deep breaths last night and trouble breathing which I explained that. When I lay down, I would wear, hear a wheezing sound in my chest. Every time I would wait, like lay down, I would hear like, ooh, ooh. it was so weird because I've never done that before. So it was kind of scary. The current day of today, I feel so much better than last night. My headache went away and I'm not having trouble breathing so bad. I still feel blood though. So my headache finally went away and I didn't have to keep taking deep breaths. So that went away. I don't know if that was like a symptom or something, but I do know the headache was a symptom. But still, I felt better, but then I still felt blah. Like, I didn't have no energy at all. I didn't want to get up and do anything. I just wanted to sit there. I didn't even feel like coloring. I didn't even feel like watching TV. I didn't even feel like barely playing on my phone. You guys messaged me at any at all and I never did reply. I apologize, it's because I just didn't feel like doing anything. March 2nd, update on COVID. I'm feeling a lot better I still can't really taste anything except certain things, and I can't smell at all still. I'm actually getting up and having my energy back, which is great, honestly. I was gradually could feel the difference in my body. I was like, ooh, I actually feel like getting up and doing this, and I was getting so much energy and just like, I want to do this, I want to do that, but still, I can tell I was still sick, but I was slowly getting my energy back, so that was a good sign. I feel so much better still, except every now and then, my headaches will come and go, but other than that, I feel fine. So the headaches I was explaining, they would come, stay for about an hour, then they would go away. Maybe a couple hours go by, and then another headache would come through. All of these symptoms, Jen was having the same thing, but all of her symptoms were all at once. Headaches, the chills, body aches, everything, just all at once. Mine was like spread out throughout the days. I don't have any breathing issues anymore, so that was a good thing. So then I started feeling actually really good. I made a little TikTok. If you want to follow me on my TikTok, down below as well. March 3rd, I actually felt really good. I dressed up, felt nice, and I went outside in the sun and I took some selfies and some pictures of me, which it felt great. I'm glad I started feeling so much better. And I think that's about all that I've updated about COVID because now I feel completely fine. Like I got my smell back yesterday, which now that I got my smell back, it makes me feel like I'm fully over this whole like virus. It makes me feel like I'm myself again. And I actually have my energy back. I feel happy and I mean, I'm not like happy, happy. I'm happier than I was and feeling better than I was because I was so sick. If anybody has went through COVID, I feel sorry for you because it's awful. And if you have, COVID or been through COVID, comment down below what symptoms you guys had. Did you have different symptoms than I did or 
Also, to update you guys on other things is one, I found out that one of my YouTube videos got deleted because apparently it said I had child pornography in it, sort of. And I was just like, I've never posted anything on my videos of child porn or anything inappropriate of a child. I tried to send it in and tell them like, hey, this is a mistake. Please don't delete my video because it's memories to me. If anything, I can put it on private or download my video so that way like it I don't fully lose it I haven't got anything back at all yet so I don't know what's going on but they deleted it and it was just a video it was with Gabrielle her sister Tabitha and me Jen and we were all being pulled by the car with the little red wagon being pulled by a behind the car which I don't understand how does that have to do with child pornography or anything that has to do inappropriately for a child because we wasn't doing anything <laughs> but oh well I guess things happen let's see what else do I need to update you guys on um well I actually end up ordering my binders which if you don't know what a binder is it's it's not really a sports brawl it's kind of like a chest mount instead of like wrapping your breast it's basically a chest mount that like pushes your breast up tightly against your chest to make it look more that you don't have breasts it came from all the way from china so we're still waiting on it and i'm gonna end up recording everything when it comes in and i'm so excited oh i actually got a appointment to go to athens ohio to start my first doctor's thing for my transition and it's sometime this month that I get to go, so I'll be recording that too. I'm going to be trying to get back into vlogs and vlogging my life and doing everything else. Just start recording every single thing. It's going to be really hard because it's been a while. Like, you get so used to not recording anything. So it's kind of hard to get back into the habit of, oh, I need to record this. So it's going to take some time, so bear with me. But vlogs are coming back and Shane Vlogs is coming back. I don't know what we're going to do today. Here's Taz. You guys haven't seen Taz for a while. Yeah, Taz. You all want to see the cats go crazy outside? As soon as, oh God, as soon as I open the door. Hello. Hi. Hi, kitties. Are you all hungry? Huh? Are you all hungry? Look, that's Milo. That cat right there, that's Milo. Look how big he's got since you last seen him. Oh, Howie, quit being mean. Hi. Are y'all hungry? There y'all go. That one kitty that, that's new, she's been slowly coming around trying to get used to us, but she won't let nobody touch her or anything. Look at all them. You can come eat. Yeah, you can come eat. I'm gonna get one more bowl full for them. Put it over here for her. Look at all of them. See, there she is. You're okay. You can go eat. Yeah, you can eat. Since the first time we actually seen her, she's actually starting to take care of herself a lot more. So that's good. I apologize if I'm like, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's just, I've been taking my medication, so I'm trying to get back to used to taking my medicine and back to vlogging. So it's going to take a while to get myself used to doing everything. There's Jen. <laughs> Look how long that her hair has got since y'all last seen her. So you want to tell them anything to update? Well, we don't have Devin no more. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. That was miserable. <laughs> the bed frame's different. I haven't made the bed yet, so don't judge me on that. I have not. I don't like this bed frame. I think it needs... Um, I, did you hear me outside? <laughs> no, I didn't hear nothing. I was in a hole. Two of the boards fell. I think this thing needs a box springs, but like with my other bed frame, it didn't need a box spring. <laughs> and I think with this one, you do. And <clears throat> also, my mattress is way too short. This is the bed frame, and this is the mattress. Like, look how much room there is. Oh, I scooted it down a little bit because I... The boards fell, so it oh. scooted out a little, but like that side over there should be. But look how much room there is, and this is the mattress. And on the side, I don't know if your side, yeah, look. These boards keep falling off, so they keep breaking. What are you all doing? 
Why don't you all sit inside there instead of on top of it, you goofies? Huh? Oh, is it because there's a bag? Yeah. Because there's a bag. Is that why? Look, now that was your all's a little some warmth. Hi. I wish you all would let me pet you. Hi, Hallie. Hallie's pregnant again. Look at that belly. Look at Hallie's belly. Hallie's going to have babies again. What are you doing? Hey, kitty. What are you doing? Meow. I've never seen you before. Yeah, you're so pretty. Come here. Here. What are you doing? You're so pretty. Come here. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> this is Milo. He comes, he's just hanging out outside today for some reason. Usually he's in the house. Jen's mom and Bill is on their way here and we're gonna go get some Chinese and I'm excited. Food. This is actually gonna be our first time actually going out to eat for a good while since we've been in quarantine so pretty excited civilization this is what i've been doing for on the days that i've been quarantining i've just been coloring there's nothing else to do and jen's just been playing gta switching cameras i'm not using my big canon so i don't know if you guys can tell the difference using the camera that kathy ended up getting for me for christmas it's like there's some things on the lens I don't know how I always get lens so dirty, but I mean they are pretty dusty because I haven't used them forever. But where where we're gonna go to Chinese and everything, I decided to use the small camera because it's a lot easier to carry around and it's not this big bulky camera. I actually plan on getting the old camera I used to have when I first started out vlogging. It was like a camera like I have now, like a pocket camera, but it flipped up with the screen. It was such a good camera, and it lasted for so long. What, Milo? Wait. What, Milo? <laughs> hey, have you seen that? Say what? This. What is that? That's a camera. What is it? It's a camera. Yeah, but what is it doing? It's filming you. Oh my god. I know, she hasn't done it forever. Well, we decided to name this cat because he looks like he's shaved because he keeps flinging his arms. These two cats look the same, the two calico ones. So, his name's Hairless and this one is Harry. That's how I want to know the difference between these two because they almost look the same. Hi, kitty. You're so pretty. Kitty, kitty. There's Tigger. What are you doing, Tigger? You're so pretty. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> what are you doing, Luna's mom? Hi, Tigger. The vlog hasn't seen you for a while. Yeah, they haven't seen Tigger for a while. Hey, I like that shirt she's got on. Oh, she bought it for a dollar, or I bought it for, did you buy it? I didn't buy it for a dollar. Skip, skip, motherfucker. She's Ooh. showing her feet. Ooh. Yeah, Shane made a comment of my crusty ass feet, so uh, we did something about that. <laughs> no more crusty. <laughs> I felt like I had a burp. Run in to the China house, and up the China buffet, and ash on you can. Okay, let's go. Get in. There's one here. Grab a couple. Because he's got one, and I know, I think I've got one in my bag, but. What are they? Mask. Oh. Uh, you throw that outside. You, two are, you all are too much open. Yeah, he, didn't even, he didn't even flinch, Shay. About what? She was moving your full stick. I said, you could throw that outside. Well, shit. I didn't even hear what she was talking about. <laughs> Maybe our bras will come in today. FedEx, I, I don't think, has ran yet. Up, sir, FedEx. I'm tired of not having my bra and panties on. Okay, so we got food. I didn't really record that because, like, <laughs> I... Sorry, vape. <laughs> because where I just started the video for today, I don't want to just... I'm not going to jump onto food. I'm so full. There are air bubbles. I don't know. They were like that when I... So many air bubbles. 
It has to be on the inside. A little while ago, someone commented on my YouTube video that there was a, apparently a tunnel behind the Ashland Mall. We'll go see if we can see it. If not, we can always go behind the mall and then go in the mall. Jen wants to go to the mall. You see, That's I got a mask on my head. Yeah. <laughs> I also want to go to Five Below. They even open? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. The, the one in the mall. This one is open. The one, uh, Barbersol is not open. Yet, I went in but. there yesterday to find me a pair of headphones like yours, and I can't find them. I can find the stupid ass cases. I can help you. Jen really wants this um, little cabinet, or not cabinet, the, the, the box thingy that we saw, the shelving box. Oh, yeah. But they, I don't know how to describe it. I want that. So here's yeah. the train tracks. I know, I bet you can't. You can't come to climb up that, so no. I'll have to show you. That's my fear is going on train tracks and a train be coming. Well, that's why you listen and well, yeah, look. But it just freaks me out. And then, like, the knowing that they can, like, throw rocks and stuff. I guess a fear. And the idiots that get hit is usually either they're too damn drunk to realize that they're here in a train or they got headphones in. Bill is trying to find where the tunnel is, so we're gonna follow him and see if we can find it. So Johnny didn't even show that climbing up a hill. I think maybe if we all so that's the tracks and Yeah, it's a thing. Somehow on somewhere it's you can walk down the end of this road. Come on. We can get on the road down here. Maybe you can see the tunnel from the road if you walk for it. I don't know. Remember how I got down there? So it looks like you can just roll. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's already rolled a buggy down there. <laughs> See, there's a park down there. Oh, yeah. I don't remember how I got down there. I got down there somehow. Oh, there's steps down here. See? We can't find the tunnel, but we'll probably figure out a way how we can actually get to it. But we know somewhere around this area. Thought it would be something interesting to do for the first vlog back. Next time we're not going to eat before we go doing stuff. <sighs> my tummy hurts. I just have to pee really bad. So do I. I think that's why my tummy hurts. Now where are you going, Mom? Yes. We're sitting here at the bathrooms, and crazy is I'll end up having to use the men's bathroom instead of the women's bathroom. It already goes, feels really awkward to go into the women's bathroom. Also, I think it's just like a bathroom anxiety. I hate going into the bathroom when there's other people in the bathroom. I don't know why. I think it's just anxiety. Imagine if you had this mirror. I would love it. How big it is. It's huge. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, it's This huge camera right there. It's like a little photo shoot with like a blue screen. One day I'm gonna be like that. I take pictures of like professional pictures, like family pictures for people and know, like what? weddings and stuff like that. It'd be so cool. That's a dream of mine is to take somebody's wedding pictures. But I used to want to take pictures of everything. You used to complain about me doing that. Like, why do you gotta have pictures of everything? I used to hate Jen taking pictures all the time, but now I'm like... Now you understand. Yeah. It's so hard to get back into vlogging and now around Now you people. feel awkward. Yeah, it feels so awkward. And But once I get out of that stage, it'll, it'll be all fine. That's one thing I do. I get so nervous when I start a video. Even around just you. I yeah. get so nervous. Well, that's how it was when I first started, but now I'm back to that <laughs> again. So I have to like earn up all my courage again. I know. I think that's what I have to do is like build up my courage to like vlog around people. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this. That is so cool. What? I just said that I really like that. I want that in my room. I just told the video that I really like this. I'm gonna have a bunch in my room, like. That's just how it is. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty blue. Oh, it is. Okay. And it's for energy and balance. And then they have this one. Full save for love and passion. Healing and virtuality. Oh. If any of you have tried these before, comment down below and let us know. Do they actually work? Ten orchard and one incense holder. So these are little incense. And <laughs> I love incense. I'm thinking about getting this and trying it out. I'm just trying to get into more like spiritual type things and trying to like with crystals and sage and stuff. What's that? Release stress and negativity. Negativity. 
I wonder what you do with it. Oh, do you just burn it? Or? It says, take the end of your stick until it flames. Carefully blow off this flame before smudging. When finished, you assume the stick inside a shell. I guess inside that shell. I don't know, it's just, that one's weird to me. Yeah. Do you want that instant holder or this one? Oh, okay. Ooh, the third eye. I even have another one. I that one. The third eye. I like that. You like that one better than that one? Yeah. This one just says just chill out. But I'm trying to get into more spiritual and to like try to bring all the negativity out of me and just become a better person. Water bottle humidifier. Yeah, you stick fun. it in water and it's a cord. What? Himalayan salt lamp. It looks like a big crystal. A lava lamp? <laughs> they call it a motion lamp. I've always been wanting one of these. Himalayan salt lamp. One day, I'm gonna what, get one. We made it back home and I'm switching back over to the Canon camera because it's a bigger camera and I'm just, I'm sitting doing a sit down video right now. We got a couple of things from the mall. As I told you guys before, like, I've been wanting to like try to get into more spirituality and learning more about crystals and candles and just be more spiritual it might actually help having your inner peace and meditating and even doing yoga i've heard that yoga helps with depression and helps with anxiety and just helps clear your mind i want to show you guys what i got well actually jen ended up getting it for me so thank you jen you're welcome so as you see i am wearing new gauges and they are actually rose quartz. I've been seeing a lot of things, which is the same as this necklace right here. And I do have the same rose quartz. And gauges. to me, it's supposed to give like, I'll show you guys a, a better picture of rose quartz. This is basically what rose quartz looks like. Exactly what I have on my necklace. Rose quartz meaning varies throughout cultures, but the soft pink stone is often tied to gentleness, love, and fertility. In Reiki and energy work, rose quartz properties are engaged to reset the heart chakra or chakra? Chakra. Chakra, release stress, and promote circulation and skin health. This is basically what is in my ear and on this necklace. I'm still learning. Like, I don't know every single thing right now. I, you know, it starts from somewhere. Do you remember what this one was? No. But I remember that it means bees. Okay, I don't remember what this one is exactly, because I forget easily, but I know it was spelled, it felt for peace. Relaxation. Relaxation, and it also said serenity, but peace and serenity is basically the same thing, so I don't know why they put those two words on the same thing when they basically mean the same thing. I also got, it's like little stones. I kind of ripped up the thing, but it's called lapis, lapis. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Wisdom truth and fortune so this bracelet right here is for those three things not everything's going to actually work i'm just trying it out there's this i love incense i've always been an incense lover but this is pretty cool so i'm actually going to open it up for you guys and set one up so you got what it looks like are they mini incense <laughs> They're mini incense. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I like how the little oh, baby. I'm so happy I can actually smell now. That tells which ones there is. So is this the incense holder? It has to be. I'm guessing you flip it up like this because there's a hole on the bottom. But this is the front. Because it said that's what had an incense holder. Maybe because where the ashes fall on here, it uh, ruins this, so maybe that's why. But it's cool because I can flip it up, clean it off, and it looks like it's the third eye. When your spirituality and your third eye opens because you see more of the world than you did. The amber musk incense sticks, 20 midnight jasmine incense, vanilla incense, and orchard incense doesn't exactly say what color they are, so I'm guessing we have to smell. I know what vanilla smells like, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take a guess that this one's vanilla, because it's like a lighter color. Mm. 
I would say that's vanilla, but let's smell the other ones first. I mean, they all smell good. I love all incense. Except there's like one incense I can't stand the smell of. This one smells like kind of like a grapeish, Like, not grapeish, but kind of like a, a tree. So that might be the, maybe the amber musk, maybe? Look how tiny. It's Mimi. It's, it's a little a, baby. It's such a tiny little, I guess we stick it in here. It broke. Maybe not. What? It's like the hole is too small. Unless you just barely. Okay, I, I got you barely put it in got, there. I got a little tiny piece. So I guess you you don't actually put it in there. You just barely. Like, yeah, you just barely. Boop. There we go. So, mm. Now we just need to find the lighter. A lighter. <laughs> I will tell you round about where I think one is. We Sorry. found one. Yes. I'm guessing I just... And doesn't it just like burn? Yep. Down? That's all it is. Smells good. So you like it? And that's our little thing. Like, it smells really good. I love incense because, like, the, one, they have different smells, and sometimes they actually just make you feel peaceful. Like, some people like different things. Like, some people like candles, some people like... Wax warmers. No, wax warmers, and I like incense, but I'm starting to also like candles, too. There's also the shirt. I really thought it was really cool. Jen got this shirt. It says, more hope, more humanity, more acceptance, and more love. Yeah, because they don't actually know something that no one knows because not even my channel knows. I'll let Jen explain that to her channel. So if you guys want to know her thing, just go on to Jen's channel. But I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it wasn't the very best vlog, but it's hard starting back once you get used to not doing something. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Make sure to turn my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. And make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys tomorrow.